The five reasons why people hate you. Dress up and get out of your home. You get to your office and everyone smiles. Some even say your dress is beautiful. A few people tell you that they love you, and that may be true. Some people can actually like you, especially if you're their equal. But you have some lofty dreams and aspirations. You want to achieve great success, lose weight, become rich, or something like that. Well, that's your crime. That's the reason why you'll be hated. That's the reason why you'll have more enemies than the minutes in a day. But why do people hate each other? Why is anyone willing to hate you? To start with, most people don't even want to hate you and won't confess in public that they hate you, because society doesn't smile at hate. Most hate are done in secret, in silence, even though they are revealed by some unusual emotional outburst. So let's look at some reasons why people hate you. One, they think you're lucky. I once heard a man talking about my elder brother and playing down on his success by saying, "Well, he's just lucky to have the job he has." I once read something that goes like, "The word luck is what we use for someone we don't like." What happens most times is that the prize for success is in the secret, and nobody sees it. Since nobody sees your secret sacrifices, when your success becomes public, they wonder why you deserve it. I mean. We're in this game together, in this business together, in this company together, in this school together. How come we have ten times of what we have? It must be because you're lucky. And why would the gods of luck smile at you among all of us? For eight years, I was in the business world, and nobody cared whether I lived or died. I rarely received anybody's call to check on me. I was the black sheep of the family, and to add to that, I had to make some sacrifices. I can't find words to explain to any of my friends. However, 11 years after, I seem to have more money than most people, and now I have a million friends and family. The problem about that is the price is paid in the private, while the reward is gotten me in the public. And because nobody sees what you go through in the private, they think you're lucky to have what you have. And why do they hate you for bribing the gods of luck? Two. They hate to be smaller than you. I went home to my old parents just a few weeks ago, and I sat down with them to ask some questions about my grandparents and some history I thought could be useful for me. One thing I observed was that my parents were so much open to tell me their version of their history, and I suspected my father in particular would tell some of the stories about some people who hurt him in the past, intending to get me to revenge simply because I now have. Some power. I mean, money to do so. Here's the thing about human nature: it's all about the struggle for power. We struggle all the time for power because we know that whoever is more powerful than us can hurt us. So, if you seem to have any power at us, like money or position, then other people might hate you for it, even if you're the humblest man on earth. Three, they think. You're the group you belong. Here is another big one. We judge people all the time by their group, and this includes nationality or race. Take for instance, I am a Nigerian, and my country is one of the most hated countries in the world. If you're white or from any Western world, then seeing me achieve what you can't easily triggers hatred in you because you think I don't deserve to have more power than you because I'm black. This is just about race. It can be about religion or even association. If someone hates Catholicism, for instance, they may hate you immediately when you tell them you're Catholic, even if you don't believe everything Catholics are all about. Four, they wish you were on their side. Just as people are threatened when you have more power than they do, they are also worried when they know that you are no longer their side. They think they have.
have done enough to be where you are. Let's face it, success in any field is a result of some complex combination of knowledge, timing, dedication, and some luck, and even some inborn traits. This makes success greatly unpredictable because two people who have the same knowledge might not have the same inborn capacity. One guy might just be in the right place at the right time and luck is real as well. While most people who think they have done enough to deserve what you have are not seeing the truth, some people have done more than what you did, yet they don't have half of the results you have just because time and luck truly smiled at you. These people are going to hate you because they think life is unfair and since you're the beneficiary of life's unfairness, you deserve their hate. What then do you do with your haters? I don't know what you should do, but here is what I do. Move on. Don't take it personally, because it's usually not about you or what you have done. Often, people hate you because of their insecurity, envy, and jealousy. It's not you. So, increase their numbers by having more success.